Why negative emotions are good for you? Today is day 14 of the 21 day videos challenge and today I want to talk about why negative emotions are good for you and why is it good for finding clarity and purpose in your life. Have you ever wondered why we experience so many different emotions? Words like emotion, feeling, mood, these are words that we use interchangeably and these are words that we're very familiar with. But what exactly is an emotion? According to the online definition, emotion is a complex state of feeling. Complex because it is multidimensional, it is both mental and physical. And it is brought on by chemical changes in our nervous system. See, our emotions are caused by the changes in our chemistry. When you're happy, when you're sad, when you're angry, all those emotions are caused by changes in our chemical reaction in our nervous system, in our body's chemistry. And this results in physical and mental changes and it influences our thoughts, our behaviors. Now, when you see someone angry, when you see an angry person, you not only see anger in their words and behaviors, but you also see anger in their face, in their body, right? Imagine, imagine an angry person. Think about whether their face is relaxed or tensed. It's tense, right? Think about whether their jaws and their fists are clenched or relaxed. It's clenched. What about their muscles, their cores? Are they tight or are they relaxed? It is, it's tight. What about the color of their face? As they go from anger to rage, does it turn red, blue, green, or yellow? Red, right? Now, how do you know all this? Because you've seen it, you've experienced it yourself. Now we normally categorize emotions into positive and or negative. And we think that positive emotions are good and negative emotions are bad. And that's not necessarily true. Yes, it is good to know which emotions are empowering and which is not, which emotions are supportive and which emotion is non supportive. But there is no such thing as good emotion and bad emotion. Even the one you call bad or negative emotion is there to serve a purpose. And of course, too much of the negative emotions can be harmful. For example, if you experience anger on a daily basis, every day, all day, for weeks and months, that's going to have a detrimental effect on your body, on your health, and in your life. But on the flip side, anger can actually be a good thing. You see, all negative emotions are simply a warning sign that's telling you that something is off, something is quite not right, that you are out of alignment with who you are and where you are supposed to be. Here is a simple analogy. Imagine your emotion to be like a sat nav. You've got your sat nav in front of you and you're driving and there's a path that you need to follow. And if you follow the path perfectly, it's normal, it's fine. But once you are off that path, it starts to give you signals, starts to give you warning. It tells you, please make a U-turn, please turn right, please turn left, and starts rerouting you back to the path. Okay, your negative emotion is exactly like that. It tells you when you're off the path. It tells you when something is off, when something is not right. Essentially, it's trying to give you feedback. It's, it's trying to give you more information as to what you need to do to get back on track. Does that make sense? So these negative emotions that you consider bad, such as fear, anger, sadness, frustration, resentment, guilt, and stress and disgust, all these negative emotions are a signal. It's trying to tell you something. Listen to it. Rather than trying to avoid it or fight it, just listen to it. Let's take anger for an example. Anger can actually be a good emotion because it lets us know when our boundaries has been crossed, when our rules have been broken, when our values are at risk, when we're not being true to ourselves. And it's trying to tell us to change something in our lives. And the solution could be to change our boundaries, our rules, our values, because it could be influenced by our past, by people, our you know, society, or it could just be too unrealistic. And when you change those boundaries and rules and values, you start to become more tolerant. Let me share with you my own experience with emotions. Growing up, I was pretty bad with emotions. 
when I say bad with the emotions, I was, I was bad at recognizing it, I was bad at understanding it, and I was pretty bad at expressing my emotions. You know, women tend to be pretty good at uh, recognizing, understanding their own emotion and being in touch with their emotions compared to men. And I've struggled for my whole life with emotions, but I'm slowly learning how to be in touch with my emotions, how to recognize, how to understand, and how to listen to it. And I'm able to use that, those emotions and the feedback and information they're trying to give me to make decisions, to find clarity, to find direction in my own lives. Here is the big lesson. Don't fight your negative emotions and don't even ignore it. Try to listen to it because it's trying to tell you something. It's trying to alert you of a problem that you can solve. It's trying to alert you of a potential solution, that thing that you can change in your life. It's trying to give you clarity and direction and guidance. All right, then. I hope you found some value in that video. And like always, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to leave a comment below. Sorry, I forgot that I had disabled my comment. Um, I don't know how, but now I've enabled the comment below so you can leave your comment if you want to. And also there's a link for to download a free audiobook for passion into profit by Andy Harrington, one of my mentors. And as always, I'll see you next time. Keep learning, keep growing, stay hungry and stay positive. Take care.